Hello guys, welcome back to Kids Coding Playground. So today we're gonna work on the uh, center uh, run uh, part six of the video. So th uh, last time we were working on the uh, scrolling for the ground. So if I play the game, you can see that you can kind of move the center and then they scroll forward. So that's what we had last time. Uh, what we're going to do is we're gonna put some background scrolling on it so that will look a little bit better. Um, these are the code for the main sprite here, okay? So uh, you can quickly kind of get it down if you're missing anything, okay? If you miss anything, just pause the video, okay? So that's all of it on this side. And then this side, this one is a little long for the movement, okay? And then this one is the uh, jump. And then if you guys miss anything, always go back to the share project on Scratch. You can take a look over there as well. Okay. All right. And this is the uh, animated character here. Okay. All right. And then the ground, that's what we did last time. Uh, and then we did the virtual ground as well. Okay. So now let's do the uh, scrolling background. So I'm going to show you how that looks. So this one is the scrolling background. You can just draw whatever you like. If you want more, you can draw more actually. So I only have one. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over. So that way, you know, it can look like it's different. So now let's go to the code, the scrolling uh, code. So what we can do, we can take some of the stuff from the other uh, code here. Uh, so uh, when we copy the stuff, so so we're, we're gonna have to have to create the x and y variable for this as well. But since when we can copy the code, we'll automatically create for it. So as you can see, if I go to scrolling, it doesn't have the x and y variable. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna drag all this over here. Okay, first one, second one, third. Okay, the reset, ground movement and then the setup so it might have been a, uh so there we go let's take a look so we have setup we'll put it here movement put it here position let's put this here okay and then the start so start by put on top okay so we're gonna have to change a little bit uh on this uh okay throw this away we don't need that uh, let me zoom in on top a little bit so we'll do one at a time so here we're gonna put the show here okay uh let's see let me put the reset here where's the reset am i missing reset okay i'm missing reset so i need the reset to delete the clone uh so i missed that uh reset here okay all right there we go so reset right here Okay, all right, so let me put the position here. Let me put this up here. Okay, so for this one, we actually don't need this. So throw this away. Oops, before I do that, I'll take the show out. Put this here. Okay, throw this away. All right, uh, we have to place a clone here. Same thing here. We're not doing the Y scrolling, so Y. Same thing here, create clone myself, no custom. We don't have next custom because we only have one, okay? So throw that away. Now let's take a look at the setup. So setup, we're gonna do a little bit different uh, here. Okay, so um, in the beginning, that's correct. Level one, that's correct. So switch to custom one. Uh, we don't need to go back layer actually. Uh, background scrolling. That's the, I think the only costume, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the costume, okay? So we'll select the background scrolling, okay? Put this away. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make it face forward and then I can switch it around so that way, you know, so. Uh, so we're gonna put the first one and do like this. And then we can say, change the direction. So make sure you're scrolling here. Uh, make sure you select this, okay? So that it doesn't move around and then just make the show okay so um if you want you can add this right uh rotation style okay you can put that on top that, that will make sure that it always go to here 
but if not, make sure you select this, okay? Okay, here, say so we're, we're gonna go negative 90. Gonna place the clone here, okay? And then let's say we want we don't want to uh, rotate the second time, we'll put it like this. And then let's say we want to rotate third time, you can put something else, let's see. Oops, drag this back to 90, and then we can do it third time. So you can just time it. Uh, so we don't actually need exact same amount of uh, clone that we have for the platform as a background. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the background go slower. So it depends, you know, um, maybe I think four is enough. So it depends. You, when you play the game, you can just watch how it goes. So this is my uh, level one so far. Okay, I'm going to add this to the end. Okay, and here we're going to change the movement a little bit. So like I told you, right, we're going to make it slower. So um, so that it looks better. So you're going to use the division sign here. Okay, take this guy out. Uh, we're going to use some math function here, round. Okay, so we're going to round this guy. And then we're going to divide this by 10. Okay. Okay, we'll duplicate this here. Put this here. So you see, round of g of x divided by 10. Same thing we'll do the for y, but since y is 0, it doesn't really matter. Uh, uh, but you can just do it the same way. So later, if you actually want to do something different with the scrolling, you can do that. Oh, I have this already. Sorry, why did I do that? Okay, I need the round. My bad. Okay. All right, so you have this, put that here, you have this, put this here. Okay, so it looks like this. So now let's save it. Let's try it out. So you can see this is in here. Let's try it out. I don't know if it's gonna work. So you see it's kind of in the front. So I think when I created, I didn't have to go to the back uh, because um, actually uh, I was creating this the last sprite. So let's try to put the back layer, go to the back layer and see if that will help, okay? Go to back layer. Let's try. So you can see, looks okay. So you can see the background. So this is a background slope scrolling. You can see that is moving. So you can see the water, right? See, there you go. Okay. So you can see the background scrolling. So you see, it's kind of moving. So if you want to make the background look better, you can have different costume and switch costume, but no, it's good enough. It, it looks, it just give a little visual effect. So you see, I have more than enough I need. So, so four is all, already more than enough because we're moving, uh, dividing by 10, right? So we don't actually need that much costume. Okay. All right. So, or you can put this outside here is fine as well. Doesn't matter. Okay. Um, okay, so that's what we have so far for this. Okay, so we're gonna work on the sound a little bit. Okay, um, over here um, we have the sound already. If you don't have the sound, you can have a different thing. So it won't play forever. Uh, sound, play sound. I think I have this one. Yep. So uh, I got this from the YouTube uh, studio. You guys can pick that up uh, from there. I'll show you later how to do that. Um, and then I say when I receive, when I receive a uh, start sound, I have something called start sound. Okay, I don't have. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go back to here to my main character that where I did all the. So uh, I go back to my main character where I did all this sound. Let's see. Here, go up on top. Where's the broadcast? Okay, here. So let's stop this. So broadcast after this new message start sound. Okay, let's go back here. Say um, start sound. So here, what we're going to do is we're gonna we're going to you remember when we jump right? We put the um, Put the sound in here, right here. So you remember when we jump, 
um, we, okay, this is when it die, right? Place number three. So number three when it die, number one when it jump, right? So we put it on the array list here, um, this list here. So we're gonna check. Okay, so we'll say if go to variable. Uh, I'll put this one first. Say equal put the variable um, item. So we want to pick the sound list. Okay, sound list. If one of this is equal to one, meaning is true, is on, then we're gonna play the sound. So we're gonna play. Uh, say start sound, and then take jump. Okay, so number one is jump that we're doing, and then after that we're gonna replace it with zero. So that way we know that we played it, it won't play again. So let's see where's that replace using replace replace. Yep. Uh, select the sound. Okay, with zero. Just like that. Just like that. So what you can do is duplicate this. Uh, you can see already, you can hear that sound, right? So 2, if it's 2, replace 2 with 0, okay? And then here we're gonna say, ouch! I made that sound, I recorded that, so you guys wanna change your own sound, put your own ouch sound, just record it. You know how to do that, I'm sure. If not, I'll let me show you in a bit, okay? Number 3, so let's just call it all up, plunge, that's when you fall into the water. So that one is already came with the, uh, uh, you know, the sprite in the game. Uh, we call it the uh, scratch. Okay. Uh, this is number four. Can put one here again. Okay. And then this number four, I think I have a thing sound or something like that. That's like when you collect the snow. Uh, and then I have another thing sound for another snow. So number five. You can have many. So as you can see, I have five of them. Okay, number, number, f replace five. Sorry, I forgot to change this four. So just make sure you got it. So one, replacing one, two, three, three, four, five. Okay, good. So far, I think we got it correct. Okay, so um, so this uh, this sound is all here, right? So you can go to the sound tab. You can hear. So thing two is this. So thing one is this. And then this is that the song, that very long song. This is the plunge, this is the ouch, and this is the jump. Okay, so you want to record like the ouch, you can make an ouch sound, just click on this, say record, and then you can talk here. You see it's recording. Like you can click on the record button, it will talk, and then record, and you say stop. So this is where you have it, and you can cut it or whatever, or you can save it. So you save it, you have record one, just rename it to ouch here. Okay, I'm gonna delete it for mine. So that's how you get that, uh, you record your own sound. And then for the uh, other thing, uh, the music, uh, I'll show you guys how to do that. You can uh, get a lot of free music from uh, uh, your uh, YouTube studio. So it's really good. I think everybody has that. If you have a uh, YouTube account, you can create your own YouTube studio. I'll show you. So here is our YouTube channel. So if you go here, you can see right here. On the side here, you see this audio uh, library. Click on that. So you see this audio library. You have all this different music here. Uh, you can play it. It will have a uh, music, and then you can click on this. You see download. So you can download your music, and then whatever sound you like. There's a lot of free music here. Really nice music. You can download it, and then you can just upload it back to your, um, you know, in your game. So I'm sure you guys know how to upload. But if not, let me just show you one time. So if you want to upload the sound, right? So go to your sound sprite, go to the sound tab, click on this, say upload. Okay. When you upload, you, you will see a, a sound, right? Just select download, like some sound or something like this, some MP3. You see this? You can just select and then like, let's say I want this, select this, open. Then you see this is 5 MB, so it's going to take a while. So I click on this, say open. What it does is gonna load to this here, and then later you can use it in your code here. Okay. So this is about uh, this is about the, the the sound, and then we did the uh, background scrolling. Um, this is about uh, all the uh, all the things that we're doing today. It's a shorter video, um, so you can hear right. You have sound, so you can jump. You see, 
you have the jump sound. So even if you hold down the uh, jump, it will not have like jump, 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 jump sound. You see? It only have one sound. Whoop. So it's a lot better with this way. So that uh, unlike the Among Us one, right? The Among Us, we, when we had the uh, jump, you push the up, it kind of keep on making the sound jump like that. It looks, it's not good. And the plunge. not code it yet so in the plunger I think um, I have to code that so I have the plunge sound over here already done so I'm not sure why it's not working correctly um, let's see so replace item did I get all the G sound correct that looks correct oh sorry Item 3, 1, no, no, that looks correct. Item 3, item. Okay, so we have some mistake. Uh, so what you can do is uh, you can open these uh, variable to kind of check what happened. Okay, so I'll show you guys how to, I know what the mistake is, but I'm going to show you guys how you could actually find your mistake. So you can open the, like the sound list, right? Uh, what you can do is you can disconnect this. So let's see. So uh, let's say my character is here, is uh, is moving. Right, you see when I jump, it has the uh, one over here, right? And then we we'll play the one uh, jump sound, we'll replace it back to zero, right? So okay, I put down the uh, system sound a little bit. It's hard to hear me if the sound is too high. So as you can see, um, well, let's say we remove this, you can see it. So if I have this on, right? So if you Let's say if I make a jump, you can quickly see that uh, that one to zero. You cannot really see it, right? So just take this out. Just making sure that it is setting it correctly. So let's say I'm moving my character, right? I jump. You see, there's a one that's set the one. So this one will play the jump sound, set it back to zero, right? So let's just check the uh, falling off the water. If you can see, right, when I fall off the water, it did not set that number three, which is the plunge sound. So there's something wrong with that. So. What you can do is you can take a look right go back to my main character where they're falling you see this one is wrong so i put it into the wrong um, list so if this is the item list so that is incorrect you have to select the sound list and select the sound list just like how we did it for the jump right so the jump is the sound list right so this is a plunge sound through the water also the sound list so let's save it now let's go back so let's say we disconnect this. Let's run this again. So if I jump, you see a one over there. Uh, let's go over here. If I fall off the water, you see? There's one here, so it will play the sound now. So let's test it again. Let's uh, run it. So you see, you hear the, the sound of the jump sound. And I fall off the water. So you can hear the water drop sound. Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And uh, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Alright, see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.